What's going on everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity.ca and today I'm bringing you a video on a 2013 Lexus IS350C convertible that I just installed a CompuStar remote start with a CompuStar drone DR3400 OEM key fob control so essentially with the OEM key fob 3 lock start and uh, I also hooked the convertible top up to the auxiliaries of the remote starter so we can now uh, roll the roof up and roll the roof down with his, the client's smartphone. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things to you first. Uh, first things first, I'll demonstrate three lock start. So what that is, is, if I press the lock button three times, the car will remote start. Lock, lock, lock. So as you'll see, the car just started. Now, a couple of things. I had to hardwire in three lock start on this key fob. So that's not a feature that's controlled via data on this setup. Uh, what that means is that when the car is started, this key fob no longer works. Now that's not because of the wiring that I did. That's actually Lexus. Uh, they've got it set up so that the OEM key fob does not work while the engine's running. So if I were to hit the buttons, the car does not respond. Uh, so. To get around that, we also installed an FT EasyGo, which is a proximity lock unlock kit from CompuStar so that as soon as you walk up to the vehicle, and of course during my video it doesn't work, but as soon as you walk up to the vehicle, the door is unlocked and when you walk away, the door is locked. The other thing that I installed on this vehicle was an RPS Touch, which is this guy here. Uh, it's a touch sensor on the front windshield that allows the client to open and close the doors. If you ever wanted to leave the keys in the car or if you ever got locked out, he can touch in a passcode on that touch sensor and the car will unlock. So I want to show you what I did with the convertible top. So I'm going to show you his drone platform, his being the customer. I'm just going to grab his phone. Okay. So. Here's the client's phone. I've opened up the auxiliaries. If I hit auxiliary two, we're gonna watch this. So basically, auxiliary two, it takes a little bit of time to activate, but auxiliary two triggers the roof. So I have now successfully opened the convertible roof on this car with a smartphone. Pretty cool feature. Uh, I can also roll the roof up. Now I can't do it on this video because there is, I, I'd have to shut the vehicle down and then restart it to be able to get the auxiliary to work on the roof up. But long story short, the roof can be rolled up through the smartphone as well through auxiliary one. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the car down to show you that. So I've sent a command to turn the car off. As you may have heard, the car just shut down and uh, we're good to go. And the app will come back and tell me that the car is off. It'll tell me the interior temperature of the vehicle, the battery voltage of the vehicle, and it'll tell me if the car is locked or unlocked. Now, a couple of things on this vehicle to, of, of note and on a lot of Lexuses, there is no takeover procedure on this vehicle after remote start. So what that means is that when you've remote started it, when you walk back up to the vehicle and you open the door, you can't just drive away with, with the key fob in your pocket. You would have to get in and restart the vehicle because there's no takeover sequence. Now, the reason why there's no takeover sequence is I chose to use an iDatalink blade interface and iDatalink does not provide takeover on these Lexuses on this model year. Uh, 410, the other competing manufacturer of bypasses, does offer a takeover. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of 410 items. They work, but we, we seem to have more issues with 410 than, than, uh, than success. So I prefer iDatalink. That's my personal preference. I always ask our clients beforehand what they want to do. I apologize, a uh, loud truck is going, going on in the background. Just pass by right there. But uh, if you or someone you know is, is interested in adding a remote start to your Lexus or any vehicle for that matter, whether it be push to start or standard key, uh, we would love to assist here at Lockdown Security. Give us a call, 1-866-824-4118 uh, or sales at lockdownsecurity.ca. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you uh, could subscribe to our video page, it goes a long way for us to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you.